in the fight against prostate cancer. A vaccine named Provange may get FDA approval as early as this week. In a study, the drug showed promise in prolonging life for men battling a deadly cancer that affects over 200,000 men a year and kills about 27,000. Here with the tales is our Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. Talk about the test. Give me the bare bones and the test first. Well, the study looked at over 500 men with an advanced form of prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. Half of them were treated with placebo, meaning right. nothing, nothing active. Right. The other half were treated with this vaccine. Those who were treated the with the vaccine had what was found to be a significantly increased life expectancy mm -hmm. or survival. However, that was four months. So it took them an average from 22 months survival mm -hmm. to 26 months. And this survival. is an advanced form of prostate cancer. Right. This is not an early detection. This is advanced Correct. form. How does this work? Because they're calling it a vaccine. You or I would think about a vaccine as being something you would take before a disease sets Prevention. in. The disease has clearly set in already. Exactly. And we've heard about cancer vaccines, for example, the cervical cancer vaccine, which works to prevent. Mm -hmm. This works in a different way for treatment. And okay. you can think of it almost like a Trojan horse or putting your own cells, a wolf in sheep's clothing. It mm -hmm. uses the patient's own blood cells right. to then trick the tumor cells into stimulating the body's own immune system to attack that tumor. These are personalized vaccines, so it's not one size fits all. Really? That makes it more expensive and more involved to make. Right. But the idea here is, Harry, that the tumor vaccine mm -hmm. will only destroy the tumor and not cause the widespread toxicity right. and harm that right. other things like chemotherapy and radiation. Do. Uh, phenomenally expensive. What, fifty to seventy-five thousand dollars? Correct. Very about? expensive. Right. And what kind of risk are we talking about? Well, you know, usually when we talk about cancer risk, and you always have to think of risk versus benefit when you talk about any proposed treatment. Traditionally, prostate cancer can be treated with chemotherapy, mm -hmm. it can be treated with surgery or radiation therapy. All of those have major risks. At this point, the risks to this vaccine seem to be mm. that the vaccine just doesn't work. Right. So the risk profile, it seems to be more advantageous than the other traditional forms of therapy. But we have to remember, prostate cancer, very similar to other cancers, not all prostate cancer needs treatment. Some right. are so slow growing mm -hmm. that the treatments actually will kill you faster than right. the disease As itself. As we've talked many times before, especially people in, uh, say, in their 70s or so, maybe even into their 80s, they get diagnosed with prostate cancer. The doctor says, whatever we do is going to be worse than you just letting Correct. it run its course and you'll die of other things That's before right. you die of so the prostate So an option cancer. is always no treatment. We're talking about more advanced stages for younger men primarily. Does this complicate or does it make easier than the decision what to do because if you have prostate cancer you're going to ask 20 doctors you're going to tell you 20 different 20 things. different things and i think in some sense this does cloud the waters the exciting thing about this vaccine harry is this is thought to be by many cancer experts the future in cancer treatment mm. personalized treatment and therapy that targets only the tumor right. and not the rest of the body so we're going to have to wait and see dr jennifer ashton as always thank you, you very much harry.